Hello everybody, welcome to my 300 subscriber special that is also a Practical Builds episode. Uh, it just so happens that this Practical Build episode runs right on when I hit 300 subs. So I want to give a quick shout out to that and thank you to everybody who has decided they want to stick around and watch more of my content. Uh, it means a lot, I appreciate you. And this is dedicated to you. And also to all the people who have commented in my other videos asking about like, you know, well, furnace arrays and super smelters, stuff like that. Um, I do have a super smelter design that's actually featured in here and we'll get to that. But there are other things, other ways to do it. And, you know, not everybody plays on the same level as the other. Some people need the one that's right behind me. Someone, some people need to smell a double chest of items in two minutes and that's at the far end if you're somewhere in between well this is the episode for you and let's get right into it uh first off everybody starts here everybody starts with a furnace smoker blast furnace uh, i love the new introduction of of these two uh, they become very inefficient when you're talking about you know super smelters but again i'll talk about that in a little bit and another thing build this open Open your F3, and you can take a look on the left side, halfway down, as it tells you which direction you're facing. You want to build this so that the minecarts are running east to west, or in west to east. Uh, you do not want to build it going north and south. It will cause you a lot of problems. Uh, your rails will not want to connect properly, so just keep that in mind. It is something that is a, a headache, and if you've gone and put all your hoppers in already, yeah, it makes you want to just quit and go do something else. So save yourself some time. Go ahead and build it in east-west direction like all these are. So first off, this is usually what everybody starts with. If you're new to the game, this is where you want to go first. And this is basically... I'm going to cover all the mechanics here. Uh, so the hopper on the top will dispense items in. So items like iron, stone, stuff like that. The hopper on the side will dispense things like coal, wood, anything that will burn. And that's your fuel source. And the hopper on the bottom will pull any finished items out. So iron ingots, smooth stone, crack stone, stuff like that. And moving on from this, this is kind of like the beginning stages. You will move on. You can skip to wherever you want, honestly. But this is my stage three. We have a basic item thing that's for some reason running. Anyhow, so we got this little design. It's always running. It's always bouncing back and forth. The drawback of it is, is that I would recommend that you only make it 8 to 10 wide. For the pure fact, you have to stand in the middle of it to oops, to click on your chest and to keep open the UI. Uh, if I drop in some items, let's go ahead, make a little more, drop in some items, you'll see that they're dispensed back and forth. The back hopper minecart is full of our fuel, which I have coal, or had coal in it. It got all put into the hoppers underneath, which is exactly what we want. And slowly but surely, everything will be collected into this chest. Now, the reason why I say it can only be 8 to 10 is because of that. I'm not doing anything, and the UI disappears. That's a problem, because it gets really frustrating when you're trying to try, try to put in a few stacks of items. Yeah, it's not, not fun to have to do that with a lot of material. So let's just not and say we did, hey? And that brings us to, well, my design. This is something I came up with. I have a full tutorial on it on the channel. Uh, if this one interests you, go check it out. It does have a drawback that you can only use hopper minecarts instead of a full chest minecart. That's because of the cool fact that you can only put in five stacks, but it automatically will retrieve the cart. And as soon as it's done, it will launch them back all on its own, starting its own process, and then it'll just bounce back and forth. It does have a manual override, 
So if you wanted to bring them back, if if the cards were just bouncing and the furnaces and if everything was, you know, smelted, you can just turn it off. That's a beautiful thing, but yes, the drawback is that you can only do five items at a time. If you put in six, it will not launch uh, because, well, you can manually launch it technically, but the problem becomes that, yeah, it's just inefficient. It doesn't work that way. And there is a solution to it, and we're moving on to that next. I do want to say, I'm going to be calling these arrays. So, this is one array. It's 22 furnaces long, and they are done this way because 22 items that smelt will flow through the hoppers fine. If you do anything over, you'll start to get a buildup. And it's just inefficient for getting into the chest. And that's kind of what the next one solves is we have something that can use a larger number of stuff. We can fill a whole chest. We can launch it manually. It has to be manually called and sent. But we pretty much doubled it. So, you know, this is one array. This is a second array. Now, you're, you might be thinking, well, what about the backup? Well, that's where you can kind of be sneaky and you can technically make up to eight arrays and go into one chest. You just have to make sure that your hoppers are moving into a different part of the chest. Like you could have a ray go into that one and that one and two from the top and one more in the back and one more on this side. You just have to figure out how to do that. And it's just complicated. And if you're to that point, we may as well go to the next step. It's next and final step. Uh, if you're on this point, yeah, you're smelting a lot of items in really quickly so if you need a whole chest smelted in like two minutes this is for you and the reason I say that is because it's the same me me uh, it's the same launch mechanism as last you know you will recall your items or your carts now this is expandable and I will explain how later so we'll drop in our items and you launch it right normal well, this can be expanded as far as you want. This is two arrays, but you can make it 20, 30, 40, even 50 arrays long if you wanted. If you're going that far, I would suggest looping it, kind of how this is looped, and maybe making it S. Yeah, uh, just pretty much, yeah, you can make as many as you want. And as you see here, each array is shuffled down into its own dropper so every 22 furnaces we have it it has its own dropper and it's going in and it's using a hopper dropping clock that dispenses each item into its own water stream or into the water stream and is collected into one one resource or into one source chest now this comes with a couple problems now as you see i have three hoppers and we can use that to our advantage because each hopper is technically grabbing its own items and currently is full, except for this one because it's been dispensing. Now we can use the different ports on each side of the chest to increase our efficiency. Now you can see that this back one is gonna follow this line and in. This first one is just going directly into the chest and this middle one is coming out to the side and in. Now this will allow us to pretty much get three at a time into this chest, making it, you know, quicker to empty those hoppers. That's something that, you know, you really want to focus on, especially when you make these much larger, because uh, last thing you want is these things to fill up and items to be sitting on top, because uh, that can cause lag, or if it takes way too long, over five minutes, your items will disappear, and then everything was for naught. Um, now, none of these are my design. Well, that, that one is. This one, this one's my design, but that I've seen a bunch of people do with the hot with the droppers. So I just want to throw that out there that, yeah, I, I don't want to get copyrighted for that one. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this 300 subscriber episode and I want to thank you again so much. It's been fantastic. You guys are amazing. You, I have nothing but fun with you guys in the comments. So go say hello. Tell me if you know what subscriber you were let me know i think it's so cool 
uh, and thank you and I hope to see you guys in the next one let's go to 400 guys let's make it bye